Hi students, Mr. Bruin here. I want to show you how to find and how to use an online photo editing program called Pixlr. You can find it online by going to this web address, http colon slash slash pixlr.com and then forward slash express. You can see I have uh, this program open here in my web browser and this is what you see when you first open it up. The way you open your image to edit it, most commonly the way you'll open it is to browse. This means you're going to look on your hard drive on your computer to find the picture you want to use. I'm going to use this picture of my niece here, Andrea, that I worked on for her senior photos and I want to show you two of the most common things you'll do with photos. You're going to want to know how to crop and how to resize your images. There's times when your images are too large and you'll need to resize them to be the correct size. So all of those tools, cropping and resizing, will be found here in the basic adjustment category. So you'll click on adjustment and you can see there's lots of things you can do. We won't get uh, distracted by all that, but we're just going to go here to crop and resize. Click on crop first and you'll see when you do you get these um, nice set of lines going through the image. This has to do with the rule of thirds. Uh, if you don't know about that, I cover that in a different lesson. But the rule of thirds is a nice way to um, orient certain key parts of your photograph along the one third line. So I'm going to place her eyes there uh, right about at that point. And when I've got it set cropped the way I want, I'm going to hit apply. And we see it crops everything that's inside that square area that I adjusted is remains in the picture and uh, the rest of it goes away. Then I want to resize, so I'm just going to hit resize. And the main thing you want to do here is make sure you keep this option on that says keep proportions. That means when I change w one proportion, say the width, it's going to automatically change the height. If you see what I did there, you'll see that the uh, height changed automatically when I adjusted the width that's keeping proportions. And then when I'm done with that, I'll hit apply. And now we can see a much larger picture. Uh, maybe you think it looks too small. However, you must note up here in the upper right, you have to see the percentage at which you're seeing the image. Right now we're actually only seeing it at 26%. If I were viewing it at 100%, right here you'd see this is how big the picture actually is, which is plenty big. That's why I resized it down a little bit. Uh, one thing that by resizing your images, you'll find that the file size for your images gets smaller. That is the kilobytes being used for the picture, which in order to upload your pictures uh, via Moodle, our learning system, you may have to have your images below a certain size, for example, 2 megabytes. So this is a handy way to resize your images if you need to do so to turn them in. Once, I've done, once I'm done making all my adjustments to the picture, I just up here in the upper left will click on Save. Okay, I can give the picture a different name. Um, I can just call this Andrea, maybe uh, resized. Now, main thing here, um, it's saving as a JPEG, and JPEGs have a quality setting assigned to them. 85 is the typical quality setting that you want to keep, so just leave it on that. There's no need to make it 100% quality. Uh, it won't really affect the quality that much but it does make the file size bigger when you do that. And then of course you're just going to want to go and this is the folder that I had it in. I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And now my image is saved. So it's as easy as that. I browsed, I opened it, I used adjustment settings to crop and resize, then I hit save and now I'm done. That's a real quick overview of using Pixlr Express for editing your images.